Hi everybody, welcome to the next sound. Now, if you remember from the last class, we were talking about the H sound, and uh, as you remember, we were talking about sort of pronouncing it, but not using too much power. Um, as I mentioned, the Dutch G sound, it sounds a little bit like now. Now, in today's lesson, we're actually gonna be sort of mimicking that sound, because as you might know, in French, the R sound is actually kind of similar, right? The back of your throat, there's that rouge, rouge, rouge. Now, the American or Western English R sound, it's not really at the back of the throat. It's kind of a little bit lighter, r, r. Like I'm not vibrating here at the bottom of my throat. It's red, red. It's not red, it's not that. It's without this vibration. So red, 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 red. All right, so I want to avoid vibrating here. I don't want to have that shake. I just want to pronounce a clean English R sound. Let's look at the words. So word number one is round, and what we're going to do is we're going to activate the French R sound, and then we're going to turn it into the English R sound, which is okay, a little bit more safe. Right? All right, let's check it out. So the word is round. I'm going to go, I right, get a deep breath, deep breath in the back there, round, round, round. All right, and then the American one, I'm not gonna feel that vibration. It's just er, er, er. Right? Can you make that sound? Mm -hmm. Er, that's the sound that I'm gonna use, right? It's not gonna go lower. It's not become, it's not that. It's just er. Can you make that sound? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that English R sound, er. Can you say that? All right, good job. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and forth. Round, 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 round. Try that. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent stuff. Again, go slow, right, go slow. Think about what you're doing. You're fluctuating the back of your throat and then you're deactivating it to make that kind of English sound. Excellent work. All right, in the next one, we're gonna try a very challenging one. We're gonna have an R in the middle of the word. It's gonna be kind of fun. So that word is carrot, all right? That is carrot. Now I'm gonna start with a French sound. Carrot, carrot, carrot. All right, can you try that? All right, all right. Now I'm going to deactivate that strong French R sound, and I'm gonna see carrot, carrot, carrot. All right, and the hard part, I gotta go back and forth. Carrot, 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 carrot. Can you try? Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Good job. All right, and to wrap things up, we're gonna wrap up with the word star. So I'm gonna start with a French sound, star, star, star. All right, can you say that? And I'm gonna switch over with the English accent, I'm gonna kinda of dial it back. Star, star, star. Can you try that? All right, and the, uh, the next one I'm gonna do is I'm going to go French, English, French, English, French, English, okay? Star, 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 star. Can you try?
So what we're doing here is we're actually trying to be very conscious of what we're doing. I think that all this R stuff and especially the word ending, the last word there, was it's usually subconscious. You know, we don't really think about it. Uh, but in this case, I want to kind of empower you to kind of activate the French sound, activate the English sound, and kind of have a mastery over what your tongue is doing. Excellent work. Again, same thing. You might want to review this in a few days. See if you can kind of like level up to be able to kind of activate and deactivate that English sound. Awesome job. I'll see you in the next class.